Welcome to our first Multisim Live video, which will be covering how to set up an AC sweep on our operational amplifier. If you haven't yet watched or looked through the tutorial document I put up on Teams, please do that before watching this video because it will show you the basics of how to use Multisim Live as well as how you can find this circuit saved on Multisim Live already. So setting up an AC sweep is quite simple. We have our circuit diagram here. We need to make sure we add a voltage probe to the output. That's so it knows which output to create the AC sweep of. Once we've done that, you can go up to the top left where it says interactive and change that to AC sweep. Now, nothing, if nothing comes up for you, go to the options gear at the top right of the page, select that, and then we get the options for the AC sweep. There are a couple of settings we have to change. We have to make sure we change the vertical scale from logarithmic to decibel. Once we've done that, we can then hit play on the simulation. It will automatically move over to the grapher tab, showing you these two waveforms. Now we're only interested in this solid green line. So on the right, we can get rid of the dotted line just by deselecting this box here. That leaves us with our AC sweep. This green line is representing the gain bandwidth product of our amplifier. The Y axis here has our gain in decibels and you can reference lesson two document to see how to change gain into decibels. You do 20 log on whatever gain your amplifier is set to. So 20 log 25 will give you a decibel reading of 27.958. You will need to turn on cursors on the right hand side. Cursors default to off. So if you just turn those on for the X axis, and we have cursor one and cursor two. The readings for the cursors can be found at the bottom of the screen. Here you can see the cursor one is currently reading one hertz on the X axis and 27.958 decibels on the Y axis. Cursor two similarly is currently measuring uh, 15 kilohertz and the same decibel level. What we want to do is we want to set cursor two to measure three decibels less than cursor one. To do this, we're going to change cursor two. Looking at the decibel value at the bottom, we start with 27.958 and we're looking for that to go to 24.958. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but the closer you can get it, the better your result will be. So that is measuring a frequency of four megahertz. Now gain bandwidth product is what we're trying to work out. And the gain bandwidth product is the maximum frequency at minus three decibels times the gain so if we did 27.958 and times that by 4 megahertz, it will give us the gain bandwidth product of our amplifier. That gain bandwidth product can then be used to work out the maximum frequency of the amplifier at any given gain without having to run the AC sweep. We can just do it mathematically by rearranging the equation. So looking at the gain bandwidth product mathematically, we should be able to calculate the cutoff frequency of any amplifier set to a specific gain. So here at the top here, we have our frequency at minus three dB. This is what we just worked out. Now this is also known as the cutoff frequency of the amplifier. So gain bandwidth product, which is what we're trying to work out, 
there's gain times frequency at minus 3 dB, so gain times our cutoff frequency. So the gain of our amplifier was 25 times by the cutoff frequency equals this. This is our gain bandwidth product. Using the gain bandwidth product, I should be able to rearrange this equation to work out what the cutoff frequency will be with an amplifier set to a gain of 50. So here we have gain bandwidth product divided by gain should equal cutoff frequency. So an amplifier with a gain of 50, okay, and our cutoff frequency divided by that gain equals 2.0105 megahertz. So I'm predicting that our amplifier set to a gain of 50 should equal this cutoff frequency. So let's go to the simulation and see if that's true. Now here we have a simulation that I set up. If we just, just go back to the schematic for a moment, you can see I've changed the value of this resistor. So the gain of this circuit is now 50. The process is exactly the same. I've got cursor one here set to one hertz and 50, a gain of 50 in decibels is 33.977. Going across the cursor two, I've taken the decibel reading at minus three. So I now have 30.938 decibels. And that has given me a cutoff frequency of 2.0113. So 2.0113. If we compare these two values, my prediction and my actual result, they're extremely similar. So I can conclude that this formula worked to work out the cutoff frequency and that I've worked out the gain bandwidth product correctly. I would like you to try and replicate this for an amplifier of 25. Make sure you keep your workings and you show your workings throughout and then come to a conclusion about your understanding of gain bandwidth product, cutoff frequency and how you can use both of those to work out different specifications within an amplifier.